Hi, this is James Jokum, host of Webcomics Reviews and Interviews. Today we're looking at your setup. So sit back, relax, and let the Geek Fest begin. No two artists are the same. This applies not only to how they do things or the skills and the experience that they bring to the table, but also how they tend to try, have things set up for them. It's just everybody has different materials they prefer to use and have access to, and this shows in how they do things. Obviously, the polar extremes here will be writer versus artist, but even when you compare different artists or different illustrators, you get entirely different types of setups. So let's compare how people have their own setups just so you can get a feel for the differences. And if you happen to see something that happens to work for you that's not already that you're not already doing, hey, you can try that and see how it works. So with writers, we're pretty much simple. We don't need a whole lot of materials. We just need something to write on and somewhere to do it. The general default for me is I'll usually be in my room watching TV while I write. And I'll generally tend to use either my laptop or my tablet. Other people will sit back and relax and while they're watching TV or just simply go out to the park, go there, or pretty much any other thing where it works from. Some people even have an office set up where they actually have a chair and a desk and that's where they do their work during the entire day. That's cool. Um, as far as the computer itself goes, pretty much any combination works. Because we are writers, we can get away with a real basic tablet with possibly a keyboard set up. You know, something that costs maybe 75 bucks total. We just need something to take our thoughts and throw them onto the paper. If we happen to, some of us like to have a scratch piece of paper so we can actually go through and outline things on paper so we can actually see it and have some sort of guide. Other people will put their outline into the computer, print it out, and use that. Whatever way works best for you. When it comes to the actual software, here's where things get really fun because everybody we can use anything from Notepad to Final Edit type script, you know, script writing software. Uh, generally, p most people tend to compromise and use some sort of word type program. That is, something that has an actual grammar check and spell check and can actually be programmed to set up margins and all that. That's cool. Each one of these has its pluses and minuses. If you're using just Notepad, for example, it's quick, it's easy, uh, but you have no way to check grammar or spelling. Conversely, if you use Final Edit, you can basically set up your entire script format and just go for it from there. Whatever ends up working for you. Artists are a little bit weirder. Uh, I'm basically going to go from hardware back. Obviously, I'm not going to suggest you use the exact same type of tablet that a writer would use. I can get away with a Kindle, for example. Uh, most Artists that use tablets tend to go with something that's actually made for drawing, such as a Wacom or some other high-end type tablet. That's cool. If you just want to go with just a pad of paper and a pencil to begin with, great. And then ink it by hand or ink it on the computer. Um, obviously, I'm going to suggest you have at least some sort of basic photo manipulation software, like Photoshop or GIMP. If you happen to go with Anything more complicated than that, such as some sort of complicated CGI program, such as Poser, or throw out an Illustrator, so be it. You know, whatever kind of software ends up working for you. Uh, that also means that if you're dealing with a laptop or notebook, you definitely want to go high end just because of the additional processing power that you're going to be requiring in order to do the scanning and the manipulation making sure that everything looks great for press. That's just something you have to worry about that a writer obviously doesn't. As far as the physical setup itself, well, you pretty much have the same options. You can have a straight office setup, go outside, go to the, wherever you feel comfortable thing. One thing you might want to look into is dealing with a light table, especially if you do penciling and inking by hand. One of the cool things about the light table is that because it's projecting a light from the bottom up, you can actually see where you need to, you know, where you ink and where you basically need to go over and erase stuff better. So I'm hoping this helps and enjoy. Have a great life.